Just a quick overview to show you my setup. I've got my Mac with its audio output connected to the DSX tape input. And then from the DSX, I've got five of its CV gate outputs going to five analog synths. I've got a Roland MC202, a Moog brother from another mother uh, module that I built at Moogfest this year, really cool. Um, I've got a Zoxio, heavily modified Zox box, a Mutable Instruments Anushri, and that's my FISMO, we're not using that, um, and then a Pro 1 sequential circuits. So I've saved some time and made a logic session with five different MIDI tracks, each with MIDI information on a different channel, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to take those five tracks, select them all, right click and export that as a MIDI file and I'll just save it on the desktop here and move it so you can see it um, and I'm done with logic all I needed was that MIDI file I'm now going to start up DSX hack and take that MIDI file that I just created you can see that I've set it up so that each track 1 2 3 4 5 is mapped to MIDI channels 1 2 3 4 5 and furthermore, each one of those tracks is just using one voice. Track 1, voice 1, track 2, voice 2, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that MIDI file on here. It reads the information and gives you the track length for each individual track, as well as the entire sequence length and tempo. Uh, for looping sake, I'm just going to even out this sequence length and make it exactly four measures long. And um, I'm set. I'm going to go ahead and make the DSX audio by clicking that button. And now I'm going to go ahead and play it into my DSX. Okay, I'm going to switch my DSX on. And in the back, there's a little switch uh, that enables the cassette entry mode. So I'm going to switch that on. It tells you cassette mode. And I'm going to get it ready um, to record by pressing the cassette play mode. That's because we're playing, quote, our old school cassette into the DSX. So you hit that button and the DSX tells you that um, it's ready to listen to the data tape. So we come over back to the computer and press our play button. See it playing, you hear it playing through the DSX's speaker, playing the data and the data is completed. We now just go back to that switch in back and uh, the Oberheim DSX is ready to play the sequence. We'll start by putting the DSX into loop mode, and now we'll tell it what tracks to play out of the sequence that we just sent to it. Track 0 has tempo information, so let's play that. We'll start by playing track 1. We'll turn 2, 3, 4, and 5 off. 6, 7, 8, and 9 were empty, so we'll turn those off too. Here we go. Now we're all set to check out merges. We'll go back to our logic arrangement and now instead of exporting all five of these MIDI tracks we're only going to export just one um, for simplicity's sake. So I'll go ahead and export this first track um, by itself and we'll call this our merges uh, demo. And we're done with logic and now let's um, fire up DSX hack again. Here's the MIDI file that we just made. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this one on there. You can now see that only one track of data is active. Um, I'll again uh, loop that exactly at four measures long. This time I'm going to click this other tab at the top called Merges. And I'm going to create a new merge in uh, slot zero. So um, 
the sequence that we created back over here is sequence zero. So the first step in our merge is going to be for sequence zero, and we'll let it play at its original transposition. If we take that uh, same sequence uh, as a second step, but now transform it, or transpose it rather, up an octave, um, and we can do it again and bring it up two octaves, and then maybe a fifth, and seven, and the original. Oops, one extra. Okay, so now uh, we'll go ahead and make this DSX audio, and now we're ready to send this audio back to the DSX. Okay, we're going to get the DSX into cassette mode again, and tell it to start listening. And now we're ready to come back over to the computer and tell DSX Hack to play that. All right, got it. Turn it off of cassette mode. And I'm going to just go ahead and turn it off of loop mode as well, just to listen through this one sequence. Um, So that's our sequence, but now what's neat is that we can put it into merge mode and go ahead and play our merge. You'll see it step through each of the parts in the merge. Well, there you go. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this. I think uh, this software really opens up the DSX to a lot more functionality than it used to have. You no longer need that Oberheim keyboard to program it. Um, thanks. Take care.